This is KMTV 3 News Now. Hi, I'm Cerise Cole with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what is happening now. You've heard the old saying, your money's no good here. That will be the case once you get inside Charles Schwab Field. That's because the ballpark will be using what you could call reverse ATMs. The way they work is you put in cash and it gives you a debit card with your money loaded on it. It is also worth noting that no paper tickets will be accepted at the gate. And we are learning more about the impact of improperly stored toxic waste at the alt in ethanol plant near Mead. Researchers released early results from a study Thursday that showed some of those chemicals were found in homes around the plant, but not at the levels the EPA considers dangerous. Researchers say they did find elevated levels of chemicals in the nearby Johnson Creek, and they say it may be responsible for killing much of the wildlife in that area. The study is scheduled to continue through at least the end of the year. And on 3 News Now, Chief Meteorologist Mark Stitz. Mostly sunny skies getting us back to 91 this afternoon. Unfortunately, though, the humidity will be a lot higher today. And with that feeling, more like the upper 90s in the second half of the day. Overnight, keeping a little bit warmer thanks to that higher humidity. We only cool to 71 Saturday morning. And then tomorrow afternoon, breezy, hotter, and more humid. We'll top out at 94, but feeling more like 100 to 105 under those mostly sunny skies. Father's Day on Sunday even hotter at 97, still a bit breezy and very humid with a lot of sunshine. Just a few more clouds Monday as we make a run for 100 degrees. Tuesday we'll make it into the mid 90s before our next cold front arrives. With that, some showers and storms late Tuesday into early Wednesday, but only drops us into the upper 80s Wednesday afternoon, right back to the 90s next Thursday.